Hi all, welcome to Dido 3D Tech YouTube channel. In this today's video, we will see this Pixhawk drone arming problem issue. So this is the common issue in uh, most of the Pixhawk users. So what will happen is uh, they can't arm the uh, drone and motor won't be spinning. So for that I am giving you a solution. So please watch this video till end. If you are watching this video first time or if you are watching my channel first time, please subscribe and like this video so that it will reach more people. So please watch this video till end. So one or the other solution will fix your problem. So first thing what you need to do is when you are not able to arm your drone. So this is a Pixhawk drone. I am using Pixhawk 2.4.8. Okay. So the main problem first you check it. Make sure your ESCs are calibrated. Okay. So make sure it is calibrated and it's working. So once you are sure about that, that means ES is also working fine, motor also working fine. Then you need to check the receiver connection. So most of the time we'll have only one single receiver. So we'll be uh, connecting, reconnecting again. So in that case, what we will do by mistake, we'll connect to a different direction. That means you can see here now this drone, you can see. So you can see, yeah, here you can see I'm using the PPM. Okay. So in the PPM, when I'm connecting here, so the white color wire is coming up and the black color is coming down. So, so this white color is the signal. So when it is coming to my receiver, it is like this. Okay. But when it comes to Pixhawk, you see now this should connect in reverse. Okay. So this should connect in reverse. That means black should come up, white should come down. So make sure you check your connection. So here it is different here it is different okay so if you connect in wrong way so that what will happen the signal won't reach here so it won't arm so this will be the one or the other reason okay so first calibrate your motor second check your radio connections okay so make sure it is connected and you can see here this solid led okay so if you connect in a different way so the signal won't reach so see now it is solid now so I will connect in other way. See, it's not working. Okay, so make sure you connect properly. Okay, so like this. Check your radio connection. Okay, that means receiver connection. So another reason will be safety switch. So they will connect the battery but they don't enable this button okay so if you enable this button then only motors will be spinning so make sure you enable this safety switch this switch okay so you press this one so now it is enabled so now you try to arm See, it will be on running. Otherwise, see what will happen if you are not on this one. See, I am connecting again. So, so this time I didn't switch on. I mean, I didn't press this safety switch. Okay. I didn't press this button. So now I try to arm. You can hear the beep. See, you try to see it's not running. That is because you didn't on the safety switch. So make sure you turn on switch like this. See, now it is on. See, you can hear the tone. See, spinning. So this will be the another reason if it is not arming. Okay. So that's it. Now let's go to the last part of this problem. So most of the time it won't arm. Even everything is working fine also. It won't arm because whenever we power up this. So whenever we power up this board, what it will do? It will do some pre-flight checks
you can check this LED status. Okay. So it will be checking pre-flight checks. So it will allow to arm only if all pre-flight checks are uh, okay. Okay. If any problem is there, it won't allow to arm. Okay. So that is the main reason most of the time it won't arm. So you check all the uh, ways how I arm it's not working then the final problem will be so there is some problem with the pre-flight check so what you need to do is once you connect this to the computer it will display what problem is there in the machine planner so you can just calibrate one more time then it will solve the problem still if there is a problem like this then what you need to do we can bypass that pre-flight check okay so i will show you that so that is the last and final solution like you try that even it is not working means any one of this problem means any one of motor or ESC problem you just try to replace that it will solve the problem so now I'll show you what you can do in the machine planner so what changes you need to do I'll show you so you can fix the problem so this will be the last step you can try first or last doesn't matter as long as any one method is working for you it's it's fine okay so you can try this method now so now I'm going to the Mission planner. Let's see in the mission planner. So now I connected this to mission planner. So now I'm clicking on this. So this will be the last solution you can try. So still it is not working. There will be problem with the hardware. Just recheck entire uh, hardware and okay. So make sure everything is fine. Connections everything is fine. So this will be the last option. So you need to go to this configuration so there you can see okay full parameter list so there you can find this option see if you go down you can see so arming check you can see now this value is at present one so see arm checks that means if you want to arm so it will be checking all options that means it will be checking the barometer compass gps lock all these parameters it will check if everything is okay then only it will allow so what it is doing it will be doing some pre-flight checks make sure it is fine so once it is passed all the uh, flight checks then only it will arm so what you need to do is instead of putting this all all means here number one number one is all you can read the description you can see here now so if the value is here zero means it will be ignoring all checks okay so you can see each one two three compass gps lock so it will be checking all these things make sure everything is passed so then only it will allow to arm so what you can do is, is here you can come and change this option to all means remove that option so that yeah you can give it like a zero okay just give a value zero and just click on right parameters okay so it will be changing okay so i'm not gonna use it because mine is working fine but for you it will be working okay so arming check that means it will try to ignore all the arming checks and it will allow your uh, drone to arm okay so i set it like a zero like this okay and if you come down you can see arming so how you will do arming you will be doing with rudder so that is option you can see if you want to disable that you can disable that also okay you can keep that zero okay so that you don't need to arm so it will be kind of like a ready to arm okay so if you put it like a one so using the rudder you can only arm you can't do disarm if you keep it like a one at present it is set to two that means you can arm the drone disarm the drone using the rudder so right side is if you move the uh, rudder to right it will be arming if you move the rudder to right side uh, left side it will be disarming so you can do both so what you can do is you can change this value here just say right parameters okay so it will be adding so you can check it parameter tree you can come here full parameter tree so there you can see see arming 
See, uh, I didn't change it. Okay, let me change here so that you can get an idea. I will change it again. So arming check, I set it to zero. I'll set this to zero and I say write parameters. Okay, so now parameters saved. Okay, so you can come here now you can see here so arming option you can see arming check zero so this option i set it to zero that means you don't do any checks so it is ready to arm okay so this is the option you can try in the end okay so most of the time the problem will be with the hardware only that means motor connection csc connection you can check it in the end you give a try this one so this will solve your problem Maybe it won't fly as you expect because we are ignoring all the test. That means accelerometer, uh, compass and all. So this is not recommended, but this is the last and final uh, thing you can try. Okay. So this arming check, change it to zero. Okay. So change this and you try to arm it. So make sure it is arming because we are canceling all pre-checks, pre-flight checks. So it won't check anything. So it is ready for arming. Okay. So hope this video helpful for you. Okay. So if this video is helpful for you, please like this video and please share this video. So it will reach more people who are in trouble. Okay. And if you're coming to my channel first time, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye.